This seems like a very sentimental picture of somebody who has passed away. And just to throw your Pokemon card. <laughs> a few of your bookshelves. Oh, First up is Abby. What is up here? Oh, Italy. I love an Italian. I do. This is giving like God. Is that God? Is that about God? And then, I don't know who this singer is. She reminds me of Joni Mitchell. But I don't think it's her. Okay, very like Baroque. You're very Baroque. I'm not calling you broke. <laughs> <laughs> like Baroque, like Barack Obama, but instead of Barack Obama, it's a Barack. Baroque. I don't know what it means. I think it's this though. That's Baroque. Not broke, like like you don't got no money, but like Baroque. It's like a, you have a book called Ladies Comp. What? Compass. Another one called Humongous Word Search. I forgot word searches existed. Holy shit. The last time I did a word search was probably seventh grade in French class. Because I remember my French teacher would always do word searches in French, which like makes sense. But the only time you should really be doing a word search, I feel like, is when you're like 75 and up and like 10 and under. You got some books up here that are, um, I don't know. Pretty good. Educated, love, secret history, love. The Dutch oven? The Dutch? No. <laughs> the Dutch house? I love that. God, these are freaking freaky as shit. These little knickknacks. I just, you, you know the way they feel. I know the way those feel, and I don't like that feeling. Like, specifically this bunny. It, I wanna chew on it, but I know you wouldn't let me. Second shelf, you've got, okay, you're into Pokemon, and you're. Is that your grandma? Or like, I don't know, a suffragette? I have no clue. I don't really see why you would put your Pokemon cards. For comedic effect, I would love if that was like your deceased grandma. And <laughs> you were like, what do I value in this life the most? My wonderful grandma who has passed away, but also the Pokemon cards. Like I love my Pokemon cards. Let me display them together. And then you have more of these creepy little toys that I just want to put in my mouth and chew on. I don't know what this is. This looks special though. Like a very special Pokemon card. It's cute. And then you have a mycology or like mushroom poster hidden behind here. I don't know why. I love mushrooms, big fan of mushrooms. So I would love if you put that in a more prominent spot. Here it looks like you have some books that I recognized more. Some Ruth Ozeki, The Song of Achilles. Oh, you have two of those. Pachinko, The Silence of the Girls. Your grandma, the suffragette, would not like the silencing of girls. That's all I gotta say. Uh. Is that Lego Groot? The Infinity Saga, I am Groot. Do you know what? I've heard that the new Galaxy of Guardian... What? Guardians of the Galaxy, the volume three recently came out. At least on Letterboxd, it's got like a 4.2. And I'm like, damn, am I gonna get in, like into Marvel right now? Okay, like literally, my impact is crazy. The way that this picture of Dorian Gray, that copy, hello. Literally in every single one of y'all's bookshelf. I just, I, I, I don't know. You've got a lot of things, like this freaky fucking cat. Why? And then it's just like a whole bunch, like a, why, why do you need a bowl of rocks? Seven out of 10. It's got all the right elements. It just, things should be like, take those damn Pokemon cards off your grandma. Like, ooh, ooh, oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, well, yes! I like, love this art over here. Unleash your inner artist. Like that smushed baby face. Okay, so you got some Lee Bardigi. Okay. Margaret Atwood. You have both The Handmaid's Tale and The Testaments. I haven't read The Testaments because I read The Handmaid's Tale, but the second one, <laughs> From what I heard, at least, it wasn't needed, but the way that The Handmaid's Tale ended, uh, yeah, like, a second one was needed. Maybe not, like, 30 years later, though. This art here, I think this is a gorilla. 
Am I right? I think that this is like a charcoal drawing of a gorilla. Let me see if you sent a bowl. No, you didn't. Ah, yes. so well, we'll never know. Um, R.I.P. Harambe. <laughs> God, I'm fucking fire today. Oof, Harry Potter. Damn. Same though. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow I love. And then it looks like you have some CDs. Oh. 20th century woman, Greta Gerwig. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> And call me by your name. Oh. I, I know who you are, and I know what you are. And I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like this desk. It's very... Um... What the fuck? Where do you sit? I like your vibe. Like a 9 out of 10. Okay, this is Nora. Very pretty name, but... What the fuck you got going on here? This is like beautiful, I'll say. Like the lighting is really interesting and not definitely not my vibe, but I like it a lot. Like there's colored lighting clearly, but it's not overdone. Like I've talked about a lot before about like the horrible fucking LED strip lights that people just love to outline their ceiling with, but you did it right. It is giving cop car though. Like it's giving siren because you only got red and blue. <laughs> it's very witchy. <laughs> Which I love. Yeah. My eyes are just everywhere and nowhere at the same time. You got Dune in like a really weird... This copy seems scary. It's scary. I don't like the gradient from yellow to white. From what I'm seeing, I'm liking. I like the way it's organized. 10 out of 10. Sure. 10 out of 10. Oh! Okay, this is Haley. Wow. We need to put you on a watch list. These shits, these Funko Pops, they need to stop. Who even is that? Bill Denbroff. Brock. Rolf. They're just making Funko Pops of anyone. I wouldn't be surprised if I had a Funko Pop and I didn't even know it. I would not be surprised. Oh, you have Heaven by Miyako Kawakami. Read that recently, loved it. Made me so extremely sad. Ooh, you got these orange penguin classics. I love those. I need, I don't, I, I haven't got a one. I haven't got a one. <sighs> Fuck. You got some Stephen King. You have this stack of books here and then you have a second shelf, but instead of putting the books there, you put more things that I want to put in my mouth and chew on. So, yeah, and then this I hate. Really dislike this. It, it's not Uncanny Valley because it, it's very obviously fake, but at the same time, it's like, it's trying to mimic something that's real, but not only real, but like natural. I, I don't like that. And who the fuck is this? Don't let the killer get you. Uh, four out of 10. Okay, so here's Sophia, and I'm already seeing something I don't like, sorry. I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. Let's just start at the top. Uh, you got a jar, okay. Don't see a single thing I recognize. Not because they're very like niche, but because it's so damn blurry. <laughs> okay, you got Twilight and Midnight Sun. These violent nights, whatever, what's it called? This is what has triggered me. Not one, not two, but three Funko Pops. <laughs> What's the appeal? Someone explain to me why. What the Funko Pop? <laughs> what the Funko Pop? That's a new saying. Instead of saying what the fuck, what the Funko Pop? <laughs> That's gonna be the new I like your shoelaces. But like, it, instead of Tumblr, it, it's my YouTube channel. If you see somebody that's real fucking freaky and very shifty, and you're like, that person watches Sean. Just go up to them and say, what the Funko Pop? You got a bottle of some thing, something. Hopefully you're okay and not abusing drugs, but I don't know, you do you. Damn, a lot of journals. Maybe those are drugs. <laughs> a lot of journals, you got a lot to say. And then the stolen air, it's just like, these books are so boring to me. Yeah, yeah. Three out of 10. Oof. Oof. Oof, damn. You can at least turn the salt rock lamp on. Like that would help a little bit because this is clearly a cry for help. This is the bookshelf of someone who does not have a fitted sheet. Oh, it's just like you vape and you smell bad. You seem like you just don't really give a fuck, but like in a good way. You're like, yeah, I'm musky as fuck. And 
the guitar is cool. Like, I feel like you devote your time to something that isn't tidiness. And I imagine it's music or just like something creative. It's very, it's very like Rue. Oh my God. <gasps> is this Rue from Euphoria? <laughs> is this not Rue from Euphoria's room? What do you have here for books? Okay, so you have some Dostoevsky. I can appreciate that. Oh, yes. Some, okay. Miyako Kawakami. Love that. Perks of being a wildflower. Purr, purr. Murakami. Oh. oh. Colleen Hoover? That is not what I was expecting there. And then the other side, you have Alice Oseman. Okay. I, I'll just give it like a three out of ten. But it, it seems like you don't, like, I don't think you care that much. It's the type of bookshelf that I'm like, okay, yeah, like, you read these books. Sometimes when these bookshelves are, like, very neat and tidy and got knickknacks and lights everywhere, I'm like, you have not touched a single one of those books. Sorry. Ooh. Oh. Wow. This is a Russian name. Privet Venuccia Suka. Really pretty. This is Gorgias. I love this vibe. The plants, it's a bit messy. There's like clutter, but it's together. You did it right. And you do anime stuff. A Russian who watches anime, who would have thought? These are like Russian books, so. I'll give you like a eight out of 10. A seven out of 10, because I, I don't, I, I can't really judge you because I don't know any of these books. What the fuck? This is from Noah? Uh... We'll just start at the top. Damn, your mom must hate your ass, dude. Like, like not to be like a health freak, but I tried a Monster Energy drink once. I think it actually was this one here, the beige pu pu punch, the punch. I was about to say Puno. Why the fuck would they call it Puno? First of all, it is the reddest red that has ever been red. There is nothing as red as this drink. I was at work and one of my coworkers went and got one of these. I think I said that I'd never had a monster energy drink and they're like, oh, I'll give you some. They crack it open, pour me some into a cup. I said, this isn't, this shit's gonna kill me. Anyways, I drank it and it was pretty fucking gross. Also, hello, the devil, turn it upside down. We all know, but like, that's just irresponsible. The thing that's most perplexing here is this empty ketchup bottle though. No, everything is equally as confusing. Why the fuck have you got pink flamingos everywhere? Anyways, hard pivot, hard, hard, hard pivot. Like, it, it, not even a pivot, like 180. How do you go from- Four by four, monster truck driving, energy drink to- Thank you, pretty. And then this, like, this person is hopping dimensions. I swear to God. All right. What is the aesthetic here? I, and where are you going? <laughs> this is like middle school boy doesn't shower. This is like girly girl being girl, being girl, 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 girly girl. And then this is very obviously, I think like dark academia slash pirates. And then this is just clutter. I'm gonna rate your bookshelf um, 51, 50 out of 10. And, and I think that this is a great place to end the video because I gotta make a few calls. What's your emergency? Thanks for watching. You can send your bookshelf to the email in the description, but you don't, please don't. I have like a lot. My spank bank is full, okay? Um. That map there is, I must just like threw up. That map there is for the Americans out there because y'all don't know where shit is in the world in geography. <laughs> Because I know my audience is mainly American. I just thought I would throw that up there so y'all could maybe learn something since they don't teach you about Asia in school.